Hi there, and welcome to Devlog 8. In this devlog, I'm gonna dive a little bit more into the main questline part of the game I've been working on, and in order to achieve that, all the little mechanism and parts I had to create and put into place. So without further ado, let's jump in. So the main goal right now is working towards a playable alpha demo. And in order to get there, there's a few things I really need before I can call it an alpha. One of the big things I'm still missing is sound, sound effects, music, all that. I'm not going to focus on music yet, that will come later, but it's really necessary now to start looking at sound. And so that's what I've done right now. I've implemented the first two sound effect types that are in the game, which are both footsteps and talking. For footsteps, I've created a system that checks the position of the character that's walking on the terrain, and depending on which texture is on the map there, it will play a different sound. There's, I believe, three categories of sound right now, which is either you're walking on sand, you're walking on grass, or you're walking on pavement, and all three will get their own unique sound. The talking system also has a unique aspect to it, where I currently have just one example voice for uh, either male or female but every character has their own unique pitch level so although the sound effects are all the same uh, through that pitch difference it does sound a little bit unique and especially in the future when i just add more voice samples to it um, i hope that will create a very unique feeling for every npc on the map Other than sound, I've also added another new system, a uh, basic system, which is motions. So currently, or before, NPCs, the player only had animations for walking or attacking, or being damaged. And now we have more basic motions, which can be triggered in different situations. The first one I added is a talking motion. It's very basic still, but it just plays when a character is talking. Um, I only have one animation, I think, for now, but I'll expand those to make it feel more dynamic. Um, and other than talking, I have waving, which is currently used for a very specific point in the main quest line. And that's the next big thing, the main quest line. And in order to have the main quest line, there's a few other things I really needed. One of those is constant characters, because before, characters were always randomly generated. Every character on the map was random. Every playthrough, you'd get completely different NPCs. And for the main quest line, I want to have reoccurring characters. Characters you'll bond with, and you'll see change in your next playthrough. So that was the first thing I needed to address here. Um, for now, I'm fully focusing on just having the basics, which for now is just uh, the leader of each faction and their right hand. It's even just the right hand right now. I think the only leader I implemented is the the pirate king um but yeah the right hands of all the leaders will be the first characters who will give you tasks to do and um, they'll be your first quest giver so those were the first constant characters i needed in there and other than that is also the partner um i want there to be a npc in the game that kind of makes the opposite choices of you it's kind of a reference to oscar of astora from if i say that correct from dark souls 1 he doesn't really do it in, in Dark Souls 1. I, it, he normally dies in the very opening, but from cut content, we can see that he was supposed to do the opposite choices to you, and I really like that concept. So that's what we have here. These constant characters will spawn at the same... Yeah, not the same area, because again, the terrain is completely different each time, but they have a same starting point. So I had to build uh, an adjustment to my building generation system to allow triggers and spawners to be spawned um, spawners of course for the position of the constant characters so where do i want the partner to spawn where do i want the um, say deacon for the cleric class to spawn which is the right hand to the pontiff um, and triggers for triggering certain events um, i want during the first quest line or which i already have the first quest line is or the, the first quest step is already finished um, and for that I needed triggers to trigger a animation which is the wave which I mentioned earlier 
So when the player starts their new character, they walk towards their partner, and when they get close, the partner will wave to them. And once they get even closer, another trigger will get triggered to start a conversation between the partner and the player. And that's immediately the other system that I had to build in. Conversations were always very... I set them up as a kind of simulation between NPCs initially. Then I added interaction for the player. And now I'm adding predetermined texts which are needed in this situation. Because normally a conversation is just very, very standard. You start a conversation, you say hello to each other. You get options as the player to talk about what next. That might be, who are you? And if you know the character already, how are you doing? Um, if they have a quest, then that quest will pop up as an option. Uh, there's always the option to ask for rumors, which if the NPC has a, a quest for the player and it hasn't been triggered yet, they'll actually start that one. And then there's goodbye. But for this first sequence, I wanted the NPC partner to say some specific text to the player. And I never built something like that in. So that's in here now as well. Let's just immediately take a look then at that first quest that the player receives. It's a simple fetch quest. Um, it just starts the player off introducing them to their partner, introducing them to the environment they started in, and uh, making them get their equipment. So the, the player doesn't start with anything in the inventory. They'll be told by their partner to reach out to the to the, the right hand of the leader. Um, they do. They will be told, get your equipment. Um, which keeps the player within the starting area. There's, there's always a chest spawned within the starting area the player chose. Once they receive that equipment, pick it up, they'll be told to go back to the, the, the uh, right hand again. And from there on, new quests need to be started. That's where I am right now. The fetch quest is already done, and now I need to be able to present the player with follow-up quests, which will bring them outside of the starting area and start exploring the island, start exploring dungeons, etc, etc. And that was it for this episode. In the next episode, I'm probably going to touch upon um, the save load mechanism, which I'm rewriting. Instead of regenerating a lot of stuff based on the seed, I'm actually going to be serializing a lot of my custom data classes so that it's easier to one-on-one -on -one load data over from the save file. Um, very technical but very necessary i'll be following up on the quest system as i mentioned before and um, i'll be touching upon movement and combat in general it's still too floaty still needs improvement so um yeah that will uh, be my next target don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and follow me on twitter if you want more frequent updates see you next time